Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, Professor Mango. That is a very interesting theoretical scientific hypothesis you have there about gravity not being real. Oh my god, hello class. How are you doing today? Welcome to, to science class. Who loves science? Yes, indeed, I love science. And I do hope that you do too. Today we're going to look at a very specific school of science. You're like, oh my god, are we going to learn about physics or math? No, well, we're going to learn about Facebook science, the most correct, amazing school of science there is. Enjoy. Mwah. Oh, and remember to subscribe if you love science, because yay. <laughs> This is going to be horrible. If the Earth was a globe, water flows to the lowest point. Yeah, yeah, how about that, science? Huh? Look, at the Earth must be a square. I love how it's just like, where do you think the center of gravity is? <laughs> but but if I hold water here, it, it drips downwards. So if, if Earth was real, it had to drip there. And now it looks like I peed myself, but there's no one else here, so we're fine. <laughs> Welcome to science class, kids, where we ourselves. Great start of the video. Think about it. The real reason why they removed lead paint. Lead paint was banned, not because children were eating paint chips, but rather how well it absorbed RF EMF radiation. Why do you think you wear a lead vest while getting x-rayed? Lead is highly effective in providing protection from sources of radiation, including gamma rays, x-rays, and other type of radiation. The truth of the matter is that they can remove the paint to make their silent weapons more effective against us. Well, you know, lead poisoning is a thing, and radiation is also a thing. <laughs> so lead can block that, but not be healthy for you in itself, in, in that way. And also, what kind of... <laughs> is this a 5G post? They remove the lead paints on our houses, so the 5G radiation can reach our families and bedrooms. Ah. I base this off of, uh... Trust me, bro. Bizarre fact. You know when something starts with bizarre fact, it's probably not a fact. <laughs> It is against the law to interact with dolphins unless you are at an aquarium, zoo, theme park, etc. The reason for this is not to protect dolphins, but to stop humans from developing connections with mammals that are actually smarter than us. Dolphins have a cerebral cortex that is 40% larger than humans and have their own language which we are unable to comprehend. It is considered that dolphins may have knowledge about Atlantis, Lemuria, etc. which are generally hidden from the public via the Vatican archives. Dolphins are larger than humans, hence Atlantis is real. <laughs> Nailed it. I love how these conspiracy posts just mash a bunch of things together. It doesn't explain the connections at all. It's just like, oh, dolphins have brains. That means secret societies have been real. <laughs> Let that sink in. We live in a country that creates its own money, yet we still can't afford to feed the homeless or fund education. Don't, like, every country print its own currency? Apart from, like, you know, people that use the euro, for example. It's more of a centralized currency between different countries, I suppose. But yeah, that goes for most countries, right? And, and sure, you can argue that different things should be funded. That's a perfectly fair point. But it's not just that you can print more money and make more value. For every piece of money you print, it also represents a lower value. Money is only worth as much as we as society think it's worth. So if you print a crap ton of money and everyone will be a billionaire, well, being a billionaire will be the new norm and you wouldn't be rich because you're a billionaire. It's just mass inflation. So... You might have a point with the stuff that should be funded more, but it's not because of this reason. <laughs> On January 5th, hashtag 5G will launch. It's this day that all vaccinated will drop like flies. If you thought about all those people who dropped in China, which is censored because yes, back in November 2019, January 2020, COVID outbreaks only took place around 5G towers. Prove me wrong. Oh, f uh, January 5th? You mean like in 2021 or something? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was a while ago, fam. Didn't happen, but <laughs> yay predictions. If you can be gay, then you should be able to be unvaccinated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that law. If you can, if you do the sins, you should also be able to. Says Professor Mango. <laughs> Wait, so you're <laughs> so now you're trying to recruit the LGBTQ for <laughs> for. For an anti-vax agenda based on, like, what? <laughs> What's the connection? If you can be gay, then you can be an anti-vax. I mean, yeah, they're not excluding each other, I guess, but it's also such a random line of logic. <laughs> Rocks don't reflect light, neither does the moon. The moon is not a rock in space, the moon is its own light source. Also, the moon is just a big light bulb, and that's 
that's that's the argument here. Literally everything that you see reflects light. It's how vision works. Yeah, vision is essentially just uh, little photon particles that bounce off of things, and depending on wavelength, that's what we perceive as colors. So as soon as you see something, that doesn't mean that you can magically just sense the object. There is particles bouncing off the objects that reach your little eyeballs. That's basically how it works. This is, for example, also why you can get higher resolution images in space if you point a telescope towards a specific point for an extended period of time. Because the telescope is able to capture more particles from set region than you would with just a single snapshot, which means that you can get more information about how things look instead of just looking at a few particles at a time. This is also why you technically can't see a black hole. I mean, you would be able to tell that something's there because it's a black ball where nothing comes from. But it's literally the absence, the absolute absence of light. Uh, kind of fascinating. So everything you see is basically bouncy stuff. How nice. Facebook posts. Baby boomers didn't have autism, seizures, allergies, and other ailments when they were kids. <laughs> Those darn millennials and zoomers with all their hip and hip. I think uh, we also were just really terrible at diagnosing stuff back then. That's probably a big part of it, don't you think? I mean, for God's sake, just a couple of hundred years ago, they didn't know that cancer existed. It still killed people. What are you talking about? Dolphins were one of those loathsome land-dwelling monsters. God told Noah to leave them off the ark, but then Satan granted them the ability to survive in the ocean as an insult to God. And now all dolphins are in debt to the devil and do his bidding, and they do enjoy it. Look at those sinful, ugly creatures. What is this? <laughs> where, where did you make this up? Why is this even an agenda that you feel a need to push? Oh yeah, dolphins are evil because... Fins and Satan. <laughs> this is amazing. Facebook never changed, please. This is such a good source of content. Fear is low frequency, long, slow wavelength, activates very few DNA coding sites. Love is high frequency, short, fast wavelength, activates many more DNA coding sites. You, you see how I know this? Because I know how to draw a basic sinus curve. I made it a bit tighter, and then I drew circles randomly that represents DNA somehow. And th the circle touches the DNA at certain points, and this means that that it's, uh, that, that it activates things. Yes! <laughs> Is this what all those conspiracy videos that talk about, you know, ooh, unified vibrations in humanity and stuff are all about? They just drawing circles and pretending to shake them? Have any of you cured diabetes? My dad is done with Big Pharma. He's using black oxygen, but his levels are still high. Any suggestions? Cinnamon! And walking exercise and prayers! I'm cured of diabetes now. <laughs> X to, to really doubt. Let me look into my mom's holistic health stuff when I get home. She has stuff on diabetes and what you can use naturally. Get your dad insulin. Oh my god, this Facebook group is gonna get him killed. What do you- <laughs> Oh dear god. What I always find so funny about stuff like this is that if these kind of things really worked, if you could literally just, I don't know, sniff cinnamon and your diabetes would magically go away, it would be pretty obvious, you know? You would be able to run very simple statistical studies to just prove the effect of it, and someone in the world would have probably done it by now. If they haven't done it, then it's proved the opposite, of course. It's, it's like such obvious things, but I think the problem is that the people who run these conspiracies don't actually understand the difference between significant statistics, control groups, and anecdotal evidence. So they think that, oh, this random thing happened here, but I believe this work or some random person told me. They buy it as long as it fits their already existing worldview, which is strange. Ever wonder why a rainbow is shaped like a dome? Oh, well, here is your answer. There is no other explanations like this whatsoever, you know, th th your perceived thing or, you know, the everything like that or where light hits your eyeball or no, no, it's, it has to be dome. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to connecting random shapes, I'm even more fascinated that they haven't, like, accidentally proven the Earth is round or something. It's like, the, the rainbow is round, so the Earth must be round. It's like, no, 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 still flat, but dome. <laughs> it's another shape. <laughs> Alternative health cranks explaining how their remedies work. Vibration, frequency, quantum energy, electromagnetic, random BS, go! That's really how it is. It's more like buzzwording. That's something that always annoyed me when I worked corporate. It was such often that you had presentations or meetings just full of buzzwords, like AI, machine learning, team synergy, massive innovation, bloody blah blah blah. It's the same thing, but it's even worse, because it doesn't mean anything. How, oh, how were you healed of your diabetes? It was the wholesome vibration crystals that that flabbergasted the, the toxins. 
uh, sees. So let's see here. JWST primary mirror. Okay, so that looks like a obelisk from someplace. Black and gold Freemasonry colors. And then there's the conspiracy symbols. And that's a pyramid that's also on top of the mirror. And we have C segments and it's 666. So that's a devil. And a humble primary mirror, which looks like a pentagram. What are you... <laughs> Look, 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 let me, let me level with you for a moment. Everything in life isn't some kind of fifth grade geometry puzzle. <laughs> if there was a conspiracy about something like this, they wouldn't be like, Ooh, hey, hey, fellow mysterious society running the world, let's be quirky. Let's hide the pentagrams in our satellites or whatever this is and, and see if the Facebook moms figure it out. Oh, that's fun, right? It's like in superhero movies where the supervillain's lair literally has a sign outside of it that says secret lair. It's the same kind of logic. It's so stupid. I comply because I want it to end. <laughs> it's because you comply that it will never end. Look at that sheep wearing 15 masks. Ah, oh, disgusting. If you don't comply, then what? Like natural selection will root it out? Is that is that the argument here? That's absolutely ridiculous. We've had things happening before, before vaccines were a thing. And sure, the disease passed eventually, but also so did like a third of all the people. That's the point with the vaccine. You get them the immunity without having to kill a third of the population. That's that's pretty nifty, in my opinion. Bobby! From conception to adulthood, the seed literally is the brain and spinal cord. <laughs> <laughs> this is some horror movie stuff. Oh my god, I just imagined swimming human skulls with a little slick spine snake. Oh my god. Hashtag seek vision. What are you talking about? Oh my god, I'm crying. It's probably my sperm spine trying to leak out of my eyes. <laughs> We're back to the basic geometry stuff. We're like, ooh, two things look vaguely similar. They must be the same. Astro World was a test run. We now see what happens to the shot when a certain frequency is broadcast. Instant violent insanity. You genuinely believe this. This is so offensive on multiple levels. Like, it is offensive period, because you're making light of something horrible. And like, the pure intellectual dishonesty is is just, wow. It's just mind-boggling. How can you believe this? It's nuts. Here's a nice Facebook group. COVID vaccine side effects. Oh, gee, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a doozy, isn't it? Shedding is making me sick when I'm around vaccinated people. Any comments about what you feel when you're around vax people? A newly vaxxed person will likely be magnetic due to graphene in the jab. It makes them give off radiation, and that's what makes other people ill. The radiation reduces gradually with time, which is why they keep telling us we have boosters. Wait, so the vaccines is turning us into magnets that are radioactive because, duh, magnets are obviously radioactive. <laughs> and we're just walking little Chernobyls. That's basically what it does. But it doesn't, doesn't harm the people that actually got it, somehow. The radiation only comes out of them, but not from within or <laughs> what <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> if you believe the planet is billions of years old i can prove you wrong with just one question praying hands <gasps> where were the dinosaurs in the bible age the bible did not mention it for once and the bible is dated back to the beginning of time are you all right. For Frick's sake, where does the Bible mention kangaroos? I can go down my local zoo and show you a kangaroo, which immediately invalidates your theory that if it wasn't mentioned in the Bible, it doesn't exist. That's a very funny way of debunking it. That's a very funny way. I was gonna go on a rant about, like, time and source material and blah blah blah, but this is, this is just way simpler. Yay, kangaroos. Where do we think lava comes from? Facebook light. Ooh, so there's just a little bit of conspiracy. Let's dig into this, shall we? Good question. I'm not exactly sure where it comes from. <laughs> Obviously God. But did you know that every pyramid on Earth has to be lava running under it? It is a stipulation to make them work properly. Which also tells us there was lava under the Earth before the flood, as the pyramids were made before the flood. Requires lava to work. What do, what do you mean by work? What is it that you think pyramids are actively doing that requires like an energy source of lava? This has so many layers to it, and I'm genuinely intrigued about this conspiracy. I want to know what kind of lava pyramid cannons you have going on. There is a rock in Saudi Arabia called Al Nasla, which appears to be cut in half using laser precision. Nobody knows for sure how it happened. Some say that ancient civilizations may have been more advanced than our history books tell us. I, uh, I doubt they had lasers. Just gonna put it out there. Like, I don't have the explanation for this either. Like, eh, who knows? But it can be for a m myriad of different reasons. You could achieve this with, like, really nice, fine tools at the time. Maybe it's erosion, maybe it's something else. 
Assuming that it's, you know, lasers, but none of the technology relics have survived even traces of them to this day, except for, like, cut rocks. I, I doubt the conclusion should be lasers uh, instantly. It's just kind of wild. Frequencies. 174 hertz removes pain. 285 hertz influences energy field. 396 hertz liberates your fear and guilt. 417 hertz facilitates change. 433 miracle tone of nature. What does that mean? Miracle tone of nature. That's very non-specific. 528 hertz repairs DNA. What do you mean repairs DNA? In what ways did DNA broken to begin with? This, that would be kind of serious. 639 hertz heals relationships. That's even more vague. What do you mean? 741 hertz awaken intuition. 852 hertz attracts soul tribe. Wait, what? Now I don't even know what you're talking about. 963 hertz connect with light and spirit. DNA not only reacts to but can be repaired with certain frequencies. This is why music is good medicine. Or, you know, it's just like a good, nice vibe. How about that? I would love for someone to be able to try to actually prove this, but I don't think they possess, like, the knowledge or methodology to even make a proper study. It would be like, but I listen to this beep sound and my DNA feels better. Fam! <laughs> what? Fourth grade science quiz. Dinosaurs. Genesis and the gospel. Oh my god, this is not gonna be amazing, is it? Let's dig into it together and suffer. Dinosaur. True or false? The earth is billions of years old. False. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. False. On what day did God make dinosaurs? Sixth. Uh, dinosaurs lived with people. True. Apparently, that's pretty cool. What did people and animals eat in the beginning? Plants. Which of the one fits the behemoth described in Job 40? Dinosaur. If an animal has sharp teeth, it must mean it's a meat eater. False. Man, the just, the just pure knowledge. This got an A+. Plus. This got an A+. Plus. You know, maybe, just gonna put it out there, maybe we shouldn't learn about dinosaurs from a book that was written hundreds or thousands of years before the first dinosaurs fossils were really, you know, undug and analyzed. Maybe a source material that didn't know this thing existed. Isn't the best source material for it. How about that? Interesting. Why do all our four symbols for medicine contain serpents? Satan is the serpent, the master deceiver. International symbol of pharmacy known as the bowl of hygiene. Yeah. Road of blah blah blah. Another symbol recognized. Look at that. It's like an angel snake. For thou sorceries were all nation deceived. That's a very random quote. I'm not sure what you're trying to get at. The Greek word for sorcery is pharmakia, from which we derive the word pharmacy. Oh my god, that must mean everyone are... What, what like witchcraft? I isn't that what you're trying to do? Like, don't trust doctors, go home and do like witchcraft with, with freaking cinnamon? Isn't, isn't that the whole point in the first place? <laughs> I would love to see two of these conspiracy people that have like opposing opinions just go at it. It's like one person is like, oh no, this this is satanic and the other person, no, no, it's not satanic. They're just shady and it's NASA and just see them like go at it completely. But oh, that'd be so fun. The FDA just approved that the vaccine has killed five people for every one person it saves. It's a disaster. So, so, so you're me meaning to tell me that what, like 80% of the world population <laughs> Is this gone? Still here, fam. I think this didn't age very well. Memories stored in a brain is like RAM on a computer. Memories are stored safely in the heart. It's like the hard disk. That's why doctors were puzzled at the case of no one person have a heart transplant and have memories alien to him. A source? Trust me, bruh. <laughs> You just put in like an organ that has no memory storage, basically just pumps blood and they're like, ah. Oh, I am remembering, thanks. This logic is asinine. The entire healthcare industrial complex makes gobs of money from treating cancer. But they don't need to cause cancer. We live in an oxidizing environment bombarded by radiation. The leading cause of cancer is living. 200 years ago, cancer didn't even exist. Oh, 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 the intelligence of the internet. I applaud thee. Oh my god, yes. I just saw this. Well, there you go. Look at this. One World Trade Center in your face. If you can't see it after 20 years, you aren't meant to. So you know the World Trade Center thing? Look at that. And it kind of looks like a vaccine. That, mean, that means the whole thing that happened with, with the vaccine. Because it has the pointy thing on top. And, and then, then, they, then they do this. And, and it's the gay agenda. Did I do it good? Did... <laughs> Did I- did I understand the conspiracy? What if I told you everything we were taught is a lie? We are not descendants of fishes and monkeys. Oh, I'm a fish monkey, very nice. Money is control of our energy. Dinosaurs never existed. Our food is poisoned. We are all slaves to a hidden cabal. Nukes are a hoax space as fake NASA means to deceive in Hebrew. 
Okay. History and lies agreed upon. G suits and Saturn all seeing eye are at the top of the pyramid. The, uh, okay, so we have vaccinated tomatoes and NASA means something else in a different language. And that means life is a lie. Cool. Please, do not use the Statue of Liberty as a symbol for our freedom. The truth is, it is a statue of the transgender wife of Ball. Don't believe it? Sorry about the YouTube link. Honestly, that sounds, uh, that sounds way more badass. <laughs> I know this is meant to be, like, transphobic and really weird, but damn, that just sounds really cool, fam. <laughs> Hell yeah. Friends, I'm desperate here. I'm a newly non-vaccinator and I wanted to write about vaccination dangers for my final thesis in college. However, I have to use scholarly, yuck, journals, etc. as my sources. When I search deep into GSU's library, every article seems to be pro-vax and nothing supporting my argument. Ugh. Does anyone have some scholarly docs that I can use to prove my point effectively? <laughs> Thank you all, hearts. The fact that you cannot find any journals to back up your viewpoint may suggest you need to reassess your viewpoint. But, but I, w I want the sources to prove me right. Stop. This is amazing. So, so you just recently discovered from Facebook or something that you want to be anti-vax. You can't find anything. Like, you're literally in a college program where you have to use peer-reviewed sources. You can't find a single source that, you know, supports what you want to write about. And, and you can't reach, like, the self-aware point where it's like, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe my hypothesis was wrong. You know, like you normally should do, hypotheses, and then you try to see if the hypothesis is right. No, out the window. I'm going to try to prove my hypothesis no matter what. Science. I still do it, always love it, so, so powerful, you know, that smelly stuff. Drinking aged urine. <coughs> what? I gulp down 16 ounces of one year plus aged urine every day. My wrinkles are mostly disappeared as a result, then I wonder if this is what's happening to me on the outside. Imagine what's happening to my organs on the inside. <sighs> what the f-, f is it in open air or closed containers for the air? Both ways, perhaps. Taste, odor, discernibly different or not? I'm interested too. Closed container, odor, I'm used to it. Extremely powerful. At first, it would tear the upper layer of the skin inside my mouth after drinking it. But after a couple of days, my cells toughened up. And now I gulp it down like it's nothing. Try to imagine the strongest vodka, 200 proof. And that's like drinking water compared to one year urine. I love the healing benefits though. You know, apart from the fact that it burns your mouth up and you, and you have to replace skin. I am looking forward to aging several more years to see how much greater the healing benefits will be on my body. Peace. I am the same species as these people. What the f***? A Pepsi Company. Garrett Quagley was ahead of the curve when he decided to make Zero Sugar Pepsi Max the centerpiece of PepsiCo's beverage portfolio in Western Europe. Does every one of your products have aborted fetal cells in them, or is it just Mountain Dew? Ah oh, yes indeed. Maximum sweetness. Zero sugar. Maximum fetus. <laughs> uh, Pepsi putting a fetus inside of you. Orally. What? Physics, quantum mechanics, quantum biology, and the quantum realm. The sun is like a burning fire. Where does it get its oxygen from to enhance the fire? Mm hmm how about that? I have seen that, that a candle doesn't burn without, without air. So the, the sun, which is also yellowish, is a candle. What, how does it work? <sighs> ah, it's not a fire. If you can pretend that a boy is a girl, or a girl is a boy, then you can pretend I got the shot. Mmm, yeah, that's, uh, no, that's not how any of this works. One of them is about self-identity, which can just, you know, be chalked down to personality or what you want to do with your life or whatever. It doesn't harm anyone, let people be happy. It's very simple. The other one is something that actively affects society as a whole, because herd immunity is a very big key to reducing pandemics and re reducing mortality rates. So, you know, being transgender, if that's the argument trying to make here, doesn't magically spread viruses that kill people, but being anti-vax does. So, you know, there is a severe difference between just, oh, this is how I want to live my life, versus, oh, let me be an inconsiderate douche that put other people at risk. That's very different. Shocking! It's probably not shocking and just a lie, but let's find out together. Scientists find three-legged aluminum-based alien life form in Pfizer COVID vax. That is one of the most wild titles I've ever seen. We are truly living in a sci-fi world, as all life on Earth are carbon-based, while the critter that was discovered in the Pfizer jab is aluminum and carbon. Apparently, this creature eats graphene oxide, moves, reproduces, and lays eggs. It's been measured at 2.3 millimeters in length. How on Earth would that fit inside a needle? 
that that's pretty big compared to like, you know, a vaccine needle, if I'm not mistaken. Although it is unknown just how big this creature will grow inside the human body, nor is it known what effect this alien life form will have upon its host. That would be pretty cool though. You know, first alien life form is literally discovered in <laughs> in a vaccine. <laughs> but also no. The poisons are radiating via computer screen. Horrible! At times I get passively jabbed by interacting online with jabbed, passively jabbed persons, and then I have to quickly detox. What do you mean by a detox? You, you, you rub, like, cinnamon on your eyelids? Even the designers of the kill jab don't know about jab poison vibes radiating via computer screens. You hear that? If you have ever played a video game with anyone who has the vaccine, you are now also vaccinated and you need to, need to detox by squirting lemons in your eyeballs and snorting cinnamon. Disclaimer, this is a joke. Don't strike me for medical misinformation. This is... <laughs> It's a joke. If you are a follower of NASA, you belong to a satanic cult. Apollo equals Apollo and the Destroyer. Revelation 9-11. Look, 666, boy, NASA, look at this. It's all sixes. Oh, my freaking God. She is doing a satanic symbol. And NASA, these little red things, it's actually a big space snake. That's probably Satan. Space Satan sounds pretty cool, though. I'm just going to roll with it. Coronavirus is mutating, so here you have it. Oh, my God, communism. Don't be a pee-pee in the rainbow. Uh, this will end when the enough people call BS. What on earth are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this virus looking like communism. The injection contains dead person's DNA. Which person? What if your DNA changes to that person's? Where does that leave your soul? The, the questions? No, everybody, no, nobody's asking, but I am asking because dead person's in the vaccines and that's gonna change your DNA so your soul goes... Do they even know what DNA is? Like, or, or are they just buzzwording all of this? I can't tell for sure. It's just so wild. If you are administered a vaccine and you aren't 100% guaranteed to not get the disease, you are 0% vaccinated. Ah, oh, yes. Listen to the statistical mastermind. The only numbers that exist are 100 and 0. It's not like, you know, almost nothing in reality is 100% or 0%. Who would have thunk it? But if it isn't 100%, 99.9999 is 0%. Heck yeah! Well, it's obviously not 99.999, but you get the gist. It's uh, very few things in life are guarantees of zeros and hundreds. It just doesn't really happen that often. Chronic horniness is a symptom of constipation. The desire to ejaculate without procreating is a disease. Your colon is swollen. Mmm, sparkles. But, but what if, what, hear me out fam, what if you have gone to the bathroom today and then you're still in the mood for naughties. Is it still due to the constipation? Or is that just Satan's fingers tingling your butt? Or whatever. <laughs> whatever it might be. <laughs> Anyone know how I can get nanotechnology cells out of my nose? I couldn't help it, but I was forced to do a nasal swab test for work, and now I feel parts of my DNA actually changing. Can someone please please help me because the doctors actually think I'm joking? Uh, please, can anyone help me? Yeah, I can help you. Um, your DNA doesn't change from a nasal swab. Um, good luck. Native Americans aren't indigenous people, even if they tell you that. How can someone from indigenous have traces of Siberian or European blood? You've never seen the movie Mulan. Black people are real indigenous, everyone else is fake. Most of y'all aren't human. Uh, the two arrows of the American N-word? Uh, when American N-words knew they were Indian descendant versus when American N-words got lost in the sauce of foreign doctrines. What on earth are you smoking? My god, probably Facebook. If you print a Facebook page and, you know, smoke the paper, is this what happens? I think so. As summer approaches, let normalize not wearing sunglasses and slathering our skin in sunscreen. That is the way to avoid skin cancer. Curious mind here. Why not sunglasses? I know the sunscreen. What do you mean you know the sunscreen? Oh my god All these people are so far down these rabbit holes. It's amazing, but I've never heard of sunglasses educate me, please Oh Facebook my greatest educational source. Yes, of course <laughs> So sunglasses and trick your brain into thinking it's dark so it doesn't send out the signals to your body for it to begin the tanning process, which is the body's natural defense to protecting our skin. You hear that? If you just close your eyes while walking outside, or, you know, if you're blind, you literally can't tan. You hear? That's amazing. Wow. I, I have never heard of that before. Uh, oh my god, I wonder why. If you have questioned if even shoes are a conspiracy to keep the masses from being properly grounded, you are way the frick down the rabbit hole. You are a battery. <laughs> 
Okay, I didn't, that, I didn't think that was gonna go that direction. You are a battery composed of electrons. Just as a battery needs to be recharged, so do you. Hence, the lack of connection with Mother Earth has in reality decreased you of electrons. This is not fake science, but real science. I mean, everything has electrons in it. That's literally how atoms work. Right? It's, it's such a weird, buzzwordy thing to say. Also, what makes a battery a battery is when you can actually have electrons and overcharge on one side and, and, and fewer electrons on the other side. So essentially you use the current in between the side when nature evens out the, the thing with electrons and, and you harness the energy from that, right? Think of it as a water dam of electrons, essentially, if you will. That's basically how a battery works. Where, where is that in your body? Like, it's not like half your body. It's like, oh, here are more electrons, here are less. So zap. That's, that, that's not how it works. What do you mean battery? But I guess if you just scroll stroll around in grass, you'll be electrocuted in a good way. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ah, oh, D pictures. A child can be born older than both parents. Not in age, but in frequency and vibration. So you're older, which is specifically an age thing. But you're older in another way that isn't age, but... Shakiness. I'm trying to grasp what it is they mean, but... I'm not even sure they know, to be honest. If you believe the moon controls the tides of the freaking ocean, what makes you think planetary alignments can't control human behavior? Because the moon has a direct and significant gravitational effect on the planet, which can be measured and predicted. Whereas the stars hundreds of light years away just don't have that sort of effect. <laughs> But if gravity is real, how can how come my my brain can't be sniped by Jupiter? Hmm? Sacred African ritual rebuilds your gums and teeth overnight. Um probably not. Sell your blood plasma. I don't trust that blood plasma shite. Plasma is in the sun, not blood. It's, it's, it's okay. Pretty obvious that they are just collecting it to get more genetic information about individuals so they can make clones of the common man if necessary. That's where this went. <laughs> But that's not what the West gets for following a forced prophet. What is <laughs> oh my, that was like from zero to hundred so fast. Like, no, no, two things have the same uh, name for them. So they must be the same thing. Are you telling me I have sun in my veins? It's obviously for cloning. What on earth? Heal yourself. Make your own HCQ. Hydrocloxin knorlol the knorlgnaiden. All you need to make your own very non kyunin is to take the rind of three to four lemons and grapefruits. And then you take the hiss and water and centimeters over the peel, glass lid pot, simmer for two hours, not take the lid off, add honey if needed, one tablespoon every two hours to bring up the phlegm from your lungs, discontinue as soon as you feel better. You know the worst thing about all this kind of home remedy stuff is that they will always claim that, oh, I felt better. I had a cold and I took this garbage and I felt better in three days. You feel better in three days from most colds. To, to determine if any kind of remedy works, you need a control group because the human body has a tendency to heal itself from a lot of things, right? So if you want to make sure it's like actually the medicine and just you're not getting better by, by yourself, you need a control group. Like, God, just, oh, I shook some freaking honey water and wahoo. Adult naughty's youth and masturbation are known to make people become transgender due to how they mess with the brain's chemistry. <laughs> This is so stupid! Oh my god! My eyes are sweating! Giants from the days of Noah, petrified. Yes, these are the JJs from the Petrified Giants. Book of Enoch and Masiful, University of Great Sources of Truth. My boy? Bonk! Those are mountains. I know you're seeing things that you really want to be true, but this, this is really heckin' weird. The most advanced machine on Earth. And they will tell you it had no designer? Well, evolution is very fascinating in that way. That if you take billions and billions of years, which is really hard to comprehend how long that actually is, and then you consider the simple fact that, for example, your child probably looks a little bit like you. You know, maybe it has your eyes or has your hair, or it's about the same height as you, or whatever it might be. Take that small iteration of, like, just basic looks or whatever, and you iterate that over billions and billions of years, and uh, you're probably gonna look uh, quite different at the end of that timeline. If you want to make a rough comparison, we actually do sort of evolution in, for example, when we do neural networks for AI development and that kind of stuff. Then, for example, you take a capture or something like that, and the neural network that is the best is reiterated on and proceeded, the other ones that don't do well are scrapped, uh, just to do this millions and millions of times over, and essentially you will have a neural network that gets 
complex to the extent that no one really understands it. There's no one, you know, directly programming this, just in the same way no one directly programmed our brain, but it kind of programs itself through a selection process. Uh, in our case, it's just an artificial selection process, while in nature, it's just been iterating over billions and billions of years. You can even see simpler signs of evolution just in the modern age, for example, like the Galapagos birds, for example, is a prime example, how they were from a common ancestor, but because of the living conditions of the individual islands, they developed very, very different characteristics based on the available food and so on and so forth. So I suppose the baseline is just like, don't underestimate what a few billion years of iteration can actually do. It gets pretty, pretty complex and crazy. Exactly. Hit in plain sight. Third ear. Pioneer. Pie. On ear. Pioneer seed corn company. Ears of corn. Mayans praise corn. Call it maize. Ears pick up frequency. Ringing of ears. Children of the corn. Corn pineapple. Pine cone. Pine corn. Nebraska corn huskers. More gander needed. What? Yeah, hidden in plain sight. Just gotta do some little tricks and yahoo. AIDS. Homosexual disease threaten American families. Why are you wearing face masks for this? This is so weird. Like, it's not transmitted like, like that. And also... I'm disappointed in, in many ways. Someone who has a lot of naughty energy can also have a very healing energy. Because healing energy is healing energy at a spiritual level. The best healers have a lot of naughty energy. Wait, this completely contradicts that last post that said, what was it? If, if you do the self-naughties and have a lot of drive, you're just constipated and corrupt by Satan or something? <laughs> Can these two people just argue with each other? That would be hilarious. I would love to see that. They know you're stupid. All NASA is hoax astronauts. Space is fake. 200 proofs Earth is not a spinning ball. <laughs> nice. Random naughties. When you have naughties with another person, you exchange energy. If that person is carrying around guilt, shame, or trauma, you can energetically absorb that. It's like going around and plugging your phone into random people's computers and downloading their files. If there are corrupt files in their system, you download them all. Not is a sacred act and should be treated as such. I mean, stay safe. If it is with strangers, use protection, etc., etc. Good stuff. I mean, the message to be careful when you're when you're messing around with strangers, sure, makes perfect sense. But maybe not for this reason, fam. Maybe, maybe this is a little bit out there, hmm? Evolution is a fairy tale to explain how gullible people how the world got here. Isn't that just the exact op okay? <laughs> it used to be, you know. Women were attracted to your strength because you could defend them from dinosaurs. Oh, are we still on this? I wouldn't mind living in the same age as maybe certain dinosaurs. It would be kind of nasty to fend off like raptors on your way to the office. But, you know, dinosaurs in general, cool sh Have you ever wanted to practice medicine without all the hassle of being responsible for people dying? Well, here at the University of Facebook School of Medicine, our motto is anyone can be a doctor. Our most popular courses include why face masks don't work, followed by my personal favorite, masks are unhealthy and cause you to get sick. Don't let your lack of medical training or experience stop you from posting bad medical advice. Our online courses are not limited by classroom size, and best of all, no enrollment fees or intelligence is required. So enroll now and start your career as an unqualified Facebook doctor today. University of Facebook School of Medicine. <laughs> the unschool of medicine? This is amazing. Oh my god, I need to use this template as like a standard reply whenever I see this stuff online. <laughs> it's so good. Physics, quantum mechanics, quantum biology, quantum realm. This group again. All right, let's see. Here's a cool picture. Science never solves a problem without creating 10 more based on... Uh-huh, okay. Okay, so we can pick up radio frequencies from 1,500 light years away, but you think they can't read the frequency inside your head? Yeah, yeah. It's almost like they're different things. You know, one is radio waves, the other one is... I, I don't know what you're trying to prove. Age urine eardrops heal the kidneys. Age urine eye drops heal the liver. Yay. Eye plus liver ears kidneys nose lungs. Why is there so much urine stuff? This is kind of scary. Oxygen is the purest element of God. Okay, the unspoken truth is that we in the anti-masking community believe that oxygen is the purest element of God. Ox is a symbol of redemption. Y as in the Y chromosome, God, the father, Gen as in Genesis or origin slash beginning. Wearing a face mask serves as a divide between God and father and man. Thus, we end up breathing in increased CO2 carbon being the mark of the beast. Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons is the mark of the beast. Six, six, six. Because of this decrease in O2 and increase in CO2 will cause humans to behave more diabolical, increased fornication with sodomy and masturbation. Studies have proven that wearing masks leads to increased homosexual behavior. We believe that this is directly due to the lack of oxygen or the pineal gland. Anti-breathers of the Antichrist in conclusion, we as children of God cannot be associated with such deviance. Oh my god. Breathing makes you gay? Huh? 
it's just so much stuff baked into this. It's like hardcore pseudoscience, it's anti-vaxxing, it's homophobia, and it's... <laughs> And it's just these weird letter combination, a little numbers game again. Ooh, six, six, six numbers. Am I right? Yeah, that that proves this. Mm. You can't rebrand fallen angels, extraterrestrials without the globe motto. What on earth are you talking about? Is is this anti-vaxxers and flat earthers versus like UFO conspiracists? That would also be a really funny debate to watch, not gonna lie. You can't prove that the vaccine lessens your symptoms because you don't know what symptoms you would have been like if you hadn't been vaccinated, and you never will! But this is literally what control groups in statistics are for. Like, there is literally a concept that deals with this exact problem when you investigate these kind of things. This isn't the gotcha moment. You're, you just don't know how the process works. The Atheist Test. Behold the evolution of the Coca-Cola can. I'm sorry, what? Billions of years ago, a Big Bang produced a large rock. As the rock cooled, sweet brown liquid appeared. As time passed, aluminum forged into a can, lid, and tab. Millions of years later, paint fell from the sky and formed a label and barcode. This theory insults your intelligence. You know that if Coca-Cola can is made, therefore it must be a maker. Test 1. A person who thinks the Coca-Cola can can have no designer. A is intelligent. B is a fool. C has an ulterior motive for denying the obvious. This is so far out there, and I think what the weirdest part is that they think it's such a big gotcha moment. It's like we made this really weird analogy that doesn't make sense in the least. It's like, oh, if you believe a Coca-Cola can go and appear out of nowhere, you're silly. It's like, but we... Nobody, do nobody does, though. <laughs> Birds charge on power lines. That's an interesting conspiracy. Every bird is a government surveillance drone. This is a funny conspiracy, though. Oh my god. <laughs> I like this. Oh my god. Can make a like, semi-bad movie about this. I would watch that. The most effective way to prevent the spread of viruses is stop developing them in labs. Rather to stop engineering them on computers. Viruses are computer-generated models. Wait. Wait. Are you... Are, are you... Are you confusing viruses, as in disease, with computer viruses? Do you think... Do you think they're the same thing? Is that where this is going? Do you... <laughs> This is the same thing as the plasma dude. It's like, oh, it has the same names, it's the same thing. <laughs> oh no, you sweet summer child. Well, Lottie's losses and lassos, that's more knowledge than I think we can handle for one day, so let's round it off here. I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.